loading snacks. <laughs> yo, yo, what is good? Loading snacks universe. Your boy Jokes is here. I got the homie Marcus. I got the homie Sin. Yes, sir. Gentlemen, we are here to do our prediction show for the Elimination Chamber. Man, let's go. The Chamber. Let's the go. Chamber coming to us from Australia. Australia. From the land down under, mate. Listen. The Elimination Chamber at this point now is, it, it, like, the way they have this, this is like, I guess they have their big four now. I, I feel like they have their big four, one for each quarter at least. Elimination Chamber has never been in a stadium. And I don't know why. At one point, I didn't realize Elimination Chamber was actually going to be in a stadium. <laughs> I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. This show is in a stadium. And I'm like, this No, I didn't gonna- know that it's never been in one before. Like, I've experienced. No. Mm. I've experienced definitely one, which was the uh, last one. My memory's foggy. Maybe one other before that back. Probably when it was becoming a new thing. You know what I mean? Type of deal. So yeah, chamber elimination chamber's always just been in like your normal, like our our Verizon Center, like stuff. It's always Capital One Arena, places just like that. Never in a big. But since they want to take things abroad and make them big, elimination chamber's now getting that treatment. And has I am. This, has this replaced the Hell in the Cell? No, they're still two totally different things. The Hell in the Cell and Elimination Chamber are two totally different things. Okay, I want to ask. No. I don't. I don't hear Hell in a Cell thrown around. I don't see it as a pay per view. That's because it's in, think, it's used in between NXT and the main uh, premium live events. The other reason I think they're scaling back because it started Hell in a Cell started becoming too common. At one point, Hell in a Cell okay. was was that thing that they pulled out. Like, hey, this is. Undertaker versus whoever, and right. like Shawn Michaels, like, listen, I ain't beat you. We're gonna do this one last time. Hell in a cell, let's do it. Well, we can get all the tension because, like, but Jonah, okay. how we feeling tonight? Feeling good? Great, uh, um, man, feeling good, man. And I'm ready to discuss Elimination Chamber. You know what I mean? It, it, we're, we're I feel first. electrified. I bet Shut you up. Did. I bet you did. God. I feel like eradicating somebody. Okay, so there you go. All right, so, <laughs> <laughs> so let's I like get to that. It. <laughs> gotcha. So as of now, I'm pretty sure we have the full card. Um, there's only four matches. Obviously, the two elimination chambers in themselves are probably going to take up a pretty hefty time of the pay per view or premium live event. I should say. I can never get used to that. Two full hours for each. Yeah, at least to take up the majority of it. Uh, two other matches in between, and then we'll have our Grayson Waller effect that probably is smack in the middle of the whole entire thing. Um, but let's go ahead and let's kick things off. Let's make some predictions. Um, I'm going to do what I think is going to be the order of the show, as usual. Um, and I think we're going to start things out a little bit in the typical reverse. I believe we are going to kick the night off with the men's Elimination Chamber match. And, of course, the winner here will face Seth Rollins at WrestleMania for the World Heavyweight Championship. And that's between Kevin Owens, Bobby Lashley, Randy Orton, Drew McIntyre, Logan Paul, and L.A. Knight. No. All right, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Uh, just, Just so I can get into your psyche. Why do you think this is the one to start the night? So... Normally, obviously, I think there's going to be one in the beginning, and I think there's going to be one second to the last match. Okay. Um, I feel like typically it's always we put the women on first in the beginning and then put the men on at the end. I feel like things have shifted a lot, and I feel like now we should go the opposite way. Not to sound... Right now, I feel like the winner of the women's Elimination Chamber matches match is going to be the bigger one to go on the WrestleMania for. I, I'm, I'm with you, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I feel like Seth is going to be a solid opponent. It's just I'm a little afraid. I feel like my man is going to be able to compete, but I'm a little afraid of what his actual performance is going to be like. But right now, I'm more excited, I think, for the women's match than I am for the men's match. Yeah. Um, and I think that's why we're going to see this sudden, a little bit of the shift um, to kind of give those women the spotlight once again. I like having the women to be able to close out the show because I think we're going to have two back-to-back women's matches, and we'll get to that in a second. Um, But let's go around the room. Marcus, let's start with you this time. Who's winning the men's elimination chamber match? 
the person that sold the most, uh, one of the one of the top sellers of merch, and that's when we do McIntyre. We're like, what, why is this a question? Like, as much as I love Randy Orton, and I want Randy Orton I a title push, like right now, Drew's the guy. Marcus, I I hate to agree with you. I kind of want to agree with you on that. Like right now, the clear he's person to me merch, he's selling more merch than uh, L.A. Knight. He's selling more merch than Randy. He's selling more merch, more merch than um, Logan. Get it out. More than AJ. Like, like we're not even gonna talk about Bobby Lashley because I can't remember actually seeing Bobby Lashley merch get pushed. Hmm. I don't even know if he has. Does he still have a shirt? I honestly don't even. Remember. He still, yeah, he still, he still, he has his old like. <laughs> that was just, that was just a blank black tee. That's all it is. <laughs> <laughs> he, had, he, had, he had his hurt Put business. Some but... respect on my man. I, 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 I can't. I can't. I, I can't. He's not giving me no reason to put respect <laughs> on his name since I've been backing this. So no, I will not. He's got to earn that from me. And until he it's until he does, whatever. <laughs> Black team. Uh, uh, listen, I'm I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Um, he a fitted crew neck team. That's what he is. Yeah, but Marcus right up. now. Yeah, but Marcus right team. now. Too, I'm what, done. Drew McIntyre just se- it just seems like the obvious pick. And you know, I'm gonna make this known. My heart, I want to pick Randy Orton. I want to pick Randy Orton so bad to win this match, and I know it ain't gonna happen because Drew is somehow going to weasel and win this match. Uh, Sin, do you do you agree? It's gonna be Drew McIntyre, or you think somebody? <laughs> hey, look, Marcus. I, I can pretty much copy and paste what Marcus just said. It is <laughs> obviously Drew. I will. I. I can find a way somehow to accept Randy winning, mm-hmm. but it's clearly Drew. He's the only one that has a stake in what's happening at WrestleMania. He's been the WrestleMania savior for like the past month and a half. Like that's <laughs> been his whole gimmick with CM Punk with. Jay with Sammy with Cody with Seth. That's been his whole shtick going mm-hmm. into WrestleMania season. So nobody else has been even on the radar of this as far as storyline building and all that. It's it's clearly Drew that's going to WrestleMania. That's gonna win that. Today. So we're all we're all in agreement. Drew is gonna win the men's elimination yeah. chamber. Now some some slightly different. Who do you want to win this match? Like obviously with everything aside, who do you want to win this match? Randy that. Orton. <laughs> cool. We're on the same page. What about you, Sin? Go ahead and say LA Knight. Go ahead. No, ahead no. Yes. I'm gonna be honest it, with it, you. You know who I kind of LA Knight. It you know who I kind of want to win this match just to have a WrestleMania moment and to see how this would go down is Logan Don't Paul. Even say Paul. It's, 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 it's not it. Logan Paul. I, I do. I will say this. I do believe no. though. I do believe Logan Paul will have the moment of that match. Mm-hmm. I think he'll do something purposely, of course, to stand out, build social media. We know how he does. He's going to have the moment in that match. I'll, I'll give him that. And I want that for him because with his that matches, we've come to look. Take me out, watered this. down, buckshot Larry into an RKO, and he's going to be out. No, I'm sorry. Anyway. No, no. Hey. I'm sorry. He can have the buckshot, Larry. I'm done with Hangman. He can have the buckshot, Larry. Okay. I'm bro, done. That, bro, uh, until bro. Hangman redeems that himself, means, you are a Larry. That Hangman is a heel now. It's okay. <laughs> That's the Logan Larry. That's all it is. Logan Larry. That's it. Logan Larry. That's it. Double L. That's it. Stop it. Stop it. Because I swear to God, if I hear this man on commentary say Logan Larry, it's I want to email it's the Logan Larry. and I will say copyright oh infringement. Sin, you need to copyright Logan Larry now before my Logan man uses Larry. it. Logan Larry, that's what's happening. But oh. as far as who, honestly, Drew. Drew like, Drew, like, I wasn't on Drew getting into just back into wrestling. Like, mm-hmm. And I wasn't sure. I appreciate him in the ring. Outside the ring and other things, I wasn't sure how I felt about Drew. Mm-hmm. But with his pettiness coming back in and they're worried about, is he going to sign back with the WWE and just playing into everything and him being super, super petty, I'm loving it 100%. So I'm... 
You still drew see- one way. Either way, you're Drew. I'm, I'm still Drew with this. Yes, I'm still. I'm Drew. not. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. Drew's gonna finish. I feel like Drew's gonna finish his story before Cody finishes his story. Everybody yeah. is Shut before up. Cody. <laughs> Everybody. Shut up. Oh my hey, God. we'll finish the story come WWE 2K24 well, that comes out well, next you month. Know, you know we'll what? Finish the story. You know, like this is supposed to be a projection show, right? Uh-huh. I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about this quick, quick, like five minutes. You I got am two. literally. You got long. I'm. I'm literally tired of everyone memeing this. Finish the story. Like it was fun the first half. Nope. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. That McCordy cry babies. Like we need to differentiate. Like <laughs> no, no, no. 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 cry babies. It's <laughs> toxic Look. wrestling fans. Like stop attaching your number one top selling baby face to a negative aspect of your product. I'm, I'm, I am yeah. loving this, and I'm looking forward to the next episode to finish it with my question. I don't really finish the story. That. Everybody got to finish the story. Everybody got a story now. So we all got to finish the story. Somebody's going to take a few extra chapters. Somebody's, everybody's story going to get finished. Maybe. I don't know. CM Punk's story just got shelved for right pause now. For, yeah, pause for right now, yeah. No, no. Shelf. That's the correct. We, we use the word shelf. Shelf. Story. It's a book. So we've shelved his story for now. I'm sorry. I we, <laughs> All right. So we're all in agreement. Drew McIntyre's yeah. winning the men's elimination chamber match. I don't. I, I y'all I agree with me that Logan's gonna have the moment of that match? I do think so. But it probably will be between. Honestly, it'll be it'll be him happen, and Randy. Right? He's gonna get RKO. And look, I don't know what the what the chamber setup is gonna be like now that it's outside and they have more room to work with. But if they have that extra room above each one of the mm-hmm. uh the chambers that he can freely get up on and jump off he's getting rko'd he, yeah he's from, gonna take that's what i'm thinking he's gonna take a sick rko he's taking a mean ass rko yeah. i'm all for it if he loses yeah. because of that i'm not mad mm-hmm. but the real question is do we see a kangaroo kick no why the hell will we see a kangaroo no, kick? They mjf all right we're done this we're, we're done with this match <laughs> we're going on to the next match uh next match is a tag team match uh, and it is defending the WWE Undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship between the champions, the Judgment Day, Damian Priest and Finn Balor versus Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate. Now, let, let, let me let me say that again. Pete Dunne. It sounds yes. so good to be able to say oh, that's like, that's, his that's name like, again. Like, okay, okay, put that's it back like, in your pants, gentlemen. Hold on, I got to do my Hold on, I got to do my Hold on, I got to do my Yeah. I didn't go that far. This is not that show. All right, I didn't go that far. No, all right. Put it I'm away. just happy my man Pete Dunn got his name back and he's got his character back. But hey, far from I said that shit for a year. Go back and watch the old videos, everyone. How many times I sent my man Pete Dunn to get his name back? I you got did. the receipts. You did. You did, and he finally did. I'm happy for him. Uh, let's go around. Uh, right, doesn't mean anything to me, but I'm gonna do this. I was gonna start with you because I already know the answer. Uh, Sin. Yeah. Who is our winner's going to be for this match? It's going to be Judgment Day. Uh, I I think, though, that Pete Dunne and Homeboy, I can't think of his name. Uh, Tyler But Thank you. Uh, I think they're going to have an amazing showing. Mm-hmm. I think they're going to put on a show, and that'll keep them in the contention and all that kind of stuff going forward to show everybody what they can do in the tag team against the champions. I do think the champions, uh, uh, Finn Balor and David Priest, are going to win. Uh, to lead to WrestleMania to them versus Awesome Truth. I think that's what's going to happen. So yeah. I got them retaining it because they're going to give us Awesome Truth versus them at WrestleMania because we know how bad we all just want it. <laughs> you are right in line. I'm also in the bag with the Judgment Day. Um, there, the, there, was a, there was a part of me that was thinking, though, we still could get the, the Awesome Truth versus them with, even without the championship because I was wondering, obviously... Is R Truth going to stick his nose in this match? That I feel like he's going to be. He's a wild card. Yes. The element in this match that could make this go one way or the other. Um, you know, he's try Even after the last beatdown, he did try for a second to get back in, but clearly, we clearly see now he's out of it. He's he, he doesn't care anymore. I'm I'm happy he's finally off of that off of that trip. Um, so there's a, there's a small chance they could lose their belts because of R Truth and. That's going to send Damien off. And I mean, hey, hey, listen, if they lost it, 
he could just go ahead and opt to cash in the money in the bank to get the tag titles back. I wouldn't do that. But technically, I feel like he that, that I feel like that's yeah, an unwritten. Don't know what the stipulation is on that goddamn money in the bank? I feel like right. it's an unwritten rule that he could probably you could use that on whatever title that you want. I but hear you, jokes. I, I have a problem. I have a problem seeing them carry the titles forward. Mm. As far as yes, they're in ring talents, but like, can you carry the company on your back as as, as title as champions? You know what I mean? Like, I don't understood. That's the only problem I have with them. I like them as a team, and I'm liking mm-hmm. the switch to Pete Dunne so I get to understand this character. Mm-hmm. And they have been I'm definitely impressing me. You know what I mean? Just I have questions about that, but that's not. It's all about MMA champions, so we'll worry about that once we shut the But, yeah, that's that's my only issue with them winning. It just I don't see them carrying it forward for a long, for a long time. Understood. Marcus, where are you at? Yeah, I definitely have a Judgment Day retaining here. Uh, as much as I want to see uh, Pete Dunne and and them have a championship run, I feel like now is not the time to pull the trigger on that. Um, I feel like that's a trigger pull for when they split those titles. Like when to go back to having two tag team divisions for both shows, especially since um, going to next year, uh, it will be on two different platforms officially. So... They definitely need to go ahead and start breaking up those tag titles, and that'll probably happen after Mania. I really don't like. I I understand the brand split and why we do it to make sure we can get more shine for others. But there's times that I just want it to just be one main champion, one set of tag team champions. It's not multiples. Like I, I, I kind of want it to be that way again, but I get it. But that's look for all what, that. But look what that's a discussion for that, another time. Yeah, exactly. Yes, like we can go yes. into that topic. That's for another day. Yes. Um, <laughs> yes, that's a discussion for another day because I that one I can go on for a while yeah. about. Um, but yeah, we're all in agreement right now. Judgment Day is gonna is gonna take the victory here. Um, I'm just <laughs> let, me t- just, let me tell y'all something right now. As far as predictions go. I, I, I pretty much think we're all going to be on base. No, I, 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 I agree as well too. Which right? is we can get into it during. This, well, you know what? Is... No, I do think when we get to the other chamber match, I do think that's going to be the only one that I feel like we may have some differences on. Um, that'll I, maybe, maybe, sure. maybe. Uh, but cool. So we're good all the way around. Judgment Day is yes. going to take the victory there. Uh, now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna break our matches up. We're gonna break the matches up a little bit. I don't know if this one necessarily is a prediction that we're going to throw out there. I think we could, though. Um, The Grayson Waller effect. Obviously, we know Cody and Seth are both going to be on the Grayson Waller effect that is going to happen during the middle of Elimination Chamber. Now, this this is going to be a prediction. I'm going to pose the question. I'll kind of walk through it because obviously what's going on right now? Now, they've said Roman is not scheduled to be in Perth for Elimination Chamber. So be it, whatever, he may not show up. But I imagine having Seth Cody in the ring together, do you think Grayson Waller has The Rock waiting in the wing to come out and potentially either interrupt or be another guest during the show? Do we think The Rock is also going to be at Perth for Elimination Chamber? Either him, or, either him or Roman. No, I think this this will be a perfect time <clears throat> for Jimmy and Solo to come in and do that hot route, do that audible, you know, uh, because Big Dog is handling Big Dog things with the other Big Dog. So we here doing what was being told. All right, shut them up. All right, so Shut the moments up. If that's the case, then Jay will come out. You think Jay will come out? No. I think Jay's trying to get back on that Intercontinental Championship. But he, but he just got screwed out of it by Jimmy. It's possible he could be there, but I feel like that's a a SmackDown following after Elimination Chamber or before Elimination Chamber. Okay. Okay. type of thing that pre-recorded 
scenario. <laughs> oh, so so basically Friday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Um, well, for Australia, it would be Thursday. Right. Yeah. I I would like I would like to see a swerve, and I would like to you know I would really like to see Roman and The Rock both show up for this. Like Perth, big big time to do something that we haven't seen. Yeah. Obviously, we've had them. I think it would be super dope, but I don't think Roman is going to show up. I feel like it would be in the banks that The Rock would definitely show up at Perth. I don't think it'll turn into a match or anything like that. So let's let's I'll right. put the kibosh on that. I do think somehow we will get the rock in the ring maybe once before we hit Mania, but it probably won't the match won't finish or something. Like it, we won't get that actual in the ring rock again until we hit Mania. Whether it is a tag match with him and Roman versus Cody and Seth or how however they're planning on on working that um, the only other thing I can think of is that somehow The Rock or somebody is going to try to interject themselves into the men's Olympics. Well, you know who, who can interject themselves? Your guys, your guy that you guys love so much, Austin Theory. I thought he was going to say Damian Priest for a second. I really thought he was going to say Damian Priest and cash the briefcase. Nope. He just hit me Swerve. with Swerve. That's what y'all get for pushing this man for like two years. <laughs> he, and, and Even though I just said he's not the guy. He's like, oh, but he's a he's beat John Cena nah. for an entire year. Listen. I got the receipts. If Austin Theory shows up to interrupt the middle of this, he's getting his ass whooped. He's going to take, he's, yeah. he's taking, he's going to take a crossroads. Yeah, easy said and done. Obviously, Seth, I, I don't think he's going to get physical. It, it, they're just going to make sure my man stays right. safe. So Cody may hit a pedigree too, <laughs> just for just for Seth to throw it his way. Um, I, for okay. me, regardless, I love this. Uh, one, Grayson Waller. <laughs> I wasn't sure how I felt about Waller. him when he first got in, but like his heelness, I can appreciate now, and I like it. You know what I mean? So, but regardless. Having him come back to Australia as well, you know what I mean? To be able to do his thing in front of everybody, I really, really genuinely love that for him. Mm-hmm. And I really want, though, in this segment, whether it gets interrupted or not, are you going to accept Seth's offer, Cody? That's all I know. Are you going to accept him to be your shield? I would like to have an answer in the ring during the Grayson Waller effect. So that's what, that's what I'm hoping for. At the I dig it. Mm-hmm. You know what I thought of? You know, Marks, I forgot about this. The Rock probably will do the Hollywood thing. I feel like he'll end up doing the Titan Tron and showing up on the screen to talk to folk. Maybe he maybe he won't via physically satellite. be there. He'll do <laughs> the, the old school via satellite. Like <laughs> that'll be funny to see. But I, I mean I think that I think the segment is gonna go far left as as typical. As um, a t- yeah, typical Grayson Waller effect. As yeah. much as I'd imagine I felt it was though we should talk about it a little bit because I feel like I feel like we should we, we're gonna see something interesting happen. Just the let's be real here. The fact that they're putting this joke on the elimination chamber, there's no real reason to have this joke happen at the elimination chamber. No. When they do any of these little talk shows that wrestler has, there's no reason to have the PLEs unless it's, 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 something it's big your live in picture in picture. That's what it is. It's your live yeah. picture in picture. Yeah, like, is it? It is what it is, but I'm sure shenanigans will ensue in this, and we'll find out. No, no real major prediction for that one. Now, let's go on to what I think is going to be the second match of the night. I, I have a, I have a feeling I'm going to be wrong about this, but third match, I think third it, match. What? Well, well, that match doesn't alter. Oh, well, no, I'm saying from the end. I'm saying from the end. Maybe I, I didn't okay. dig it. Um, but that's going to be the women's elimination chamber between Liv Morgan. Mm. Raquel Rodriguez, Naomi, Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair, and Tiffany Stratton. Um, I'm gonna be real. I I feel like there's two there's two possible outcomes. At least my preferred way that I see it. There's two. Three. You see three. I see two and a possible. We exactly. I was about to say. I was about to say. I see three and a possible. <laughs> I, I, I see. I see two and a possible maybe. One. But and, and since you got your one, who's your one? Becky is winning this, and if she doesn't, everything that's been happening for the past two months, month and a half, makes no damn sense on these shows. <laughs> With her keep coming out talking about her and Rhea, her and Rhea, she comes out every week and talk about this. And until last week, nobody's come out to stop those promos. 
<laughs> Except for like her and Rhea. And Rhea's even like, I'll see you at WrestleMania. They come on the press, con- press conference. We're going to see each other at WrestleMania. None of these other women intervene. It is clearly <laughs> Becky. If Becky does not win this, bullshit. Period, point blank. <laughs> Look, I'm expecting be some close calls, all that kind of, mm-hmm. kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, she is winning and she's going to WrestleMania. This is the fight we've been building up to for the past year with Rhea's title reign. I've been saying this for months upon months. Her, Becky is her final boss of this year of her WrestleMania, you know, winning it, her, her title reign. It's, okay. it's, it's Becky. She's cleaned out everybody else on Raw besides who's been injured, like, you know, Lynn right. and stuff like that. Like, she's cleaned out the whole roster. After she finishes this, this weekend with her match, <laughs> like, it's just mm-hmm. Becky left. You know what I mean? So I get you. So, I will, I will definitely, I will say everything that you said, 100% valid. Mm-hmm. So, my other option, which I feel like would be a, a viable candidate, is Bianca. Now, we've been saying having Bianca versus Rhea could also be dope. Now, granted, Becky... That's Rhea. never happened, by the way. That's I know. It, it hasn't happened. I'm saying it now. Next WrestleMania. That's... I feel like that's too next far. Next WrestleMania, it'll it's be too, her and Jade. We're too far. Jade's going to be the push. It's going to be the push for the star. If, every, if everything aligns properly and things go well, no, Jade's going to be the push for it next ain't year. Time. It's Jade time. It's no, Jade no, time. No, no, no. I, no, I, 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 didn't, I didn't say it's Tiffy time. I didn't say this every time. I just said next year WrestleMania, Rhea and, and Bianca. I'm just leaving it there. We'll revisit okay. this in a year. That's all. We'll revisit it. But I feel like Bianca is, to me, is the other actual potential victor. My possible, the possible could have been Naomi. But I don't think with her just coming back and she hasn't really jumped fully into that fray just yet. I feel like she's got to find find that spot. I, I still want to see her part of the bloodline, but I don't think we're gonna I don't think we're gonna go that route. Listen, that's the only thing to me, that's the only thing the we bloodline will is if he goes against Bailey and loses. I right, listen gonna kill Naomi again. Listen, I just I feel like we have a woman in the bloodline and we can set some things up. Don't do that, Naomi. No more glow music. No more glow music. <laughs> don't do oh, that, Naomi. And listen, she'll still have a version of that glow music, but it's going to be very bloodline. If she screws over Bailey, she'll become an enemy for life for me if she does that. <laughs> but no, since. she won't, because she'll be a part of the bloodline. Next, the following week, you and see look, her, her and Jimmy, and you'll and be look, like, I can acknowledge the tribe. I can acknowledge the tribal chief. I ain't got to acknowledge every member of the bloodline. <laughs> but <laughs> even though I love him. <laughs> But sin, I do, I do agree. It should be Becky. With the way everything, with the way everything has been playing out, and what she's been doing, and the path that she's been on, and these, in these interactions, I will see you as a. And listen, they didn't give a shit about Elimination Chamber. It's like, look, that joint is just a road bump. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a like, speed bump. Look, even with Liv coming back and Liv having a genuine grudge against Rhea and being the last person to beat Rhea, it's still, it's still. Liv's beef comes after me. I'm good with that. And li- hey, listen, I was for sure at one point it was going to be Jade in this match. So I told y'all. Uh, I, I knew that's what you thought. No, yeah. I, I knew it was Raquel. I, and I, was Raquel. I saw the picture you saw. Yeah. With, with Jade there. Yeah. And that could have been, it, it, that could have clearly been smooth. That was a swore for me. It was but, too soon for Jade. Hey, listen, we all know what tri- Trips could have. I know Trips. Will do things the right way, and if he had felt that she was ready for, uh, uh, listen. I know we say like in our Marvel side of things, and Feige we trust, and Hunter I trust. And Trip, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. We gotta figure out which verb we're gonna use for that, but in Hunter I trust, whichever way he pulls it. Yeah. Uh, but Paul, you trust? I say, Paul, I say, in Trip I trust. And Trip, hu- in trip whichever trust. one, we'll figure it out. In trip, trip, Marcus, in Trip, trip I trust. We trust. Trust, but Marcus, are you also on the side of Becky Lynch as well too, or do you yeah, think you're? Yeah, it's the obvious. It's the obvious pick. Like yeah. I don't think those swerve us and give it to like Naomi or Raquel or anybody else. I don't think those swerve us at Perth. Um, seeing as majority of the promos at for WrestleMania is with Becky versus Rhea. So, like the only other thing I can think of is this: like somehow Charlotte comes and screws over Becky. Stop! Stop! But she's a long way off. That's not happening. But stop. Nope. Not- she was doing squats like without the brace. That like, doesn't mean can- nothing. Listen, doing squats. And she being getting WrestleMania ready. ready. 
She her getting I, WrestleMania started, ready? Her, her and I try to get, get her together, baby. <laughs> Doing squats and being ring ready are two goddamn different things, and she is not ring ready yet. So we are not we are not wishing that upon us come hey, WrestleMania. That don't stop them from interfering. Nope, we are we are not willing that into existence here. And with that, we are done with this one because that no, is not. No, 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 no. Not ask the other question you did for the men's. Well, oh, I got you. Yeah. Who do we want to win this match? Actually. Hmm. Hmm. All right, who I want to win, no storyline related, but there's no way in hell we're going to win this, is Tiffany Stratton. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way in hell she's going to win this, but I'm pulling, I'm pulling for Tiffany. I do think, though. Not, not winning. Will, I'm not she, that yet. <laughs> she will have, though. I'm giving her to have the moment of the match, kind of like Logan Paul for the Miz match. Okay. I think she will. I think she will with that moon song. I think so. She'll have the moment of the match. I just wanted to go in and just show her stuff. I just want to just show with, with, with the PLE crowd, show who you are, show what you can't beloved, since you're now officially on the SmackDown roster. Listen, I am a Tiffany fan. I want as much as as much as Becky has been putting forth the effort. I want Bianca to win. Bianca's the one that I want to win because I want to see Bianca versus Rhea Ripley. I'm sorry, the two of them powerhouses versus each other. That match is going to be incredible. That match is gonna be incredible. Don't get me I wrong. Want, I want it. It's not now. Don't get me wrong. Becky is she's putting the front forward and she wants this. I truly want it to be Bianca. I want it to be Bianca. Because Bianca versus Freya at the WrestleMania. And I feel like WrestleMania 41 is just a little bit too far out. I I, I need that before WrestleMania 41. But it's gotta make sense. And there are different brands right now, it doesn't make sense. And listen, the brand thing don't make sense. Listen, the Elimination Chamber right now, the brand thing don't make sense anyway. Because you're making them challenge for whichever belt. It doesn't make sense either way. It doesn't matter. Throw it away. Just throw it away. It doesn't make sense at all. Marcus, who do you want to win? (laughs) Ah, good old Steve. Um, (laughs) Wrong one. I agree. (laughs) I agree. Thank you. Uh, I I agree with with you, Joe, like uh, with the Bianca statement. But for me personally, I kind of want Naomi to get back in that main star spotlight. Mm-hmm. Like she was in the tag division when she left. She was a champion, tag champion when she left. I feel like she deserves that level of respect to like go back into that championship mm-hmm. type mm-hmm. contender singles match. I don't want her to get lost in the shuffle. I want something more creative for her to happen. So I feel like winning this match, like would show that she's that that girl, that woman, I would say. But it. it's either her or Raquel, because you know. Reasons. <laughs> yeah. Reasons. <laughs> yeah. I know what those reasons are. <laughs> hey look, right. look, you ain't hear me say anything about your Tiffy time, did I? Hey, whoa, whoa. I was not shooting a shot whatsoever. I, know no, I, felt, like a, I, felt, I felt like a sniper shot. <laughs> no, I felt no, like a sniper no, shot. No, no, what that shot was just recognizing that I know y'all stuff too. I know my stuff is on blast all the time, but I know y'all. All right, I dig it. I dig it. So we got our actual picks and who we want to win. So now, right, right. Let's go ahead and let's wrap this night up. <laughs> let's wrap this night up with the book. Listen, I already know. We already know how we're all select on this match, but let's it's be so- real. Hey, listen. If this match don't close, night. listen. If this match don't close the night out, I'm gonna be pissed. This joke should close. What if it's the first match? I, I am. No, I'm with you. I'm with you, jokes. It just seems right to let this be the final match tonight. Listen, it just as right. much as and I don't. I don't know if a lot of people know this. Like I, I know I threw it out there. Clearly, Ray is from Australia. Nia was born in Australia, and I don't think a lot of people actually realize that. Um, I believe she was she was there for like up to like age seven or something like that. I gotta get that. She okay. but she was she was born off. She's Australian for all intents. She is Australian as well too. So we are gonna actually truly have hometown girls closing out the show, which I feel like should be the thing. But let me let me throw this up, and then we can go into conversation. But if y'all didn't know, this is for the women's world championship between the champion. Mommy herself, Rhea Ripley, and Nia Jax. Um, 
let's just let's before we go in and have discussions, gentlemen, are we all in agreement that Rhea Ripley is walking out as champion from this night? Yes. Affirmative. Peachy. I just wanted to go ahead and let's just do that and get that out of the way. Because yes. there's no hey. two ways. And listen, there's no way in any shape or form that Rhea does not walk out of Elimination Chamber as champion. 1,000%. Unless if, Charlotte interferes. Shut up. It ain't no, happening. 1,000%. No, she is not walking out of person. Listen, out of hey, Marcus, I'm going to tell you this right now. She ain't melody to clear. It ain't happening. But let's, let's just say, hypothetically, in an MCU parallel universe, whatever, Charlotte came out and screwed Rhea out of the championship. Charlotte is now officially on my shit list for the rest. They're gonna of burn that stadium to the ground. They do that eternity. I like they Charlotte. Don't let me let me let me let me for the people I said let, let me let me clear some up. I like Charlotte. I have no issues with Charlotte. She's awesome. She's proven it. None of like that is thing. I just don't want this shit to happen. It ain't gonna happen. Let's just be real, Marcus. It's too soon. You, She's not coming you back. You say it's that, but it's happened before. Yes, it has. It ain't happening in this case. Actually, matter of fact, it has happened numerous times. Yes, it has. It is can not ask, happening. Can I ask a, a honest question that I just try to learn with? Go for it. All right. Would you say when you say that, Marcus? Has it happened against another wrestler that has had this big of a pop and push as yes. Rhea is going? To, okay. Um, trying to think of the matter of fact, wasn't it Bianca? No, that Bianca, was that, that was. Yeah. Becky, uh, Sasha, like, mm. th- there's, there's a list. Yeah, you know what? Charlotte showed back up. I forget who it was. Challenged whoever it was to the women's championship, like, that night. And took was it the Dana belt. Brooke? No. As well? Dana oh, Brooke you mean, you mean. As far as her showing up, showing up to take the spotlight for her. But I don't remember. Like, I'm trying yeah, to remember was. who it was. She, yeah, she was. She, 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 uh, she took Dana Brooke's uh, spot. Because that's when uh, WWE like kind of sidelined Dana Brooke, and then uh, there was all the signs and hashtag give Dana a chance. Oh, okay. So, so with with your theory, Marcus, how would her interference deter this match? It's a simple common distractor. Uh, Nia fucking does what like a Samoan slam, does her little top rope Rikishi okay. butt slam, and then. One, two, three. It's that that simple off of the distraction. But or like comes in, whatever, and then she gets a Samoan spike from, from Naya. It's like it could go any number of ways for Naya on that distraction. Now, granted, it could be the reverse. Like, oh, she comes in, tries to distract Rhea or whatever. I don't know. I was thinking Becky. But anyway, um tries to distract uh, Rhea. Rhea just does her mommy slam pin thing, rip side, and then asserts dominance that way to show that she's still mommy's always on top mm-hmm. motif. Um, but that's two different ways it can branch off for that type of distraction. Not okay. to get, like, okay. To put it into existence, but right, it's a factor that can happen because WWE posted Charlotte doing the squats. Marcus, just because she can do squats, she is not ring ready. Dakota yeah. was on ringside and could still walk around, it's grab a chair, get happening. in the ring. Like it, like you say that, but it's you not know, happening. You it's know too it soon. can. You know it, it can. can. But it is not happening at the Elimination Chamber. Here, as the real Ripley fan here, let me just say this. I hear you, Marcus. And, 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 and trust me, Marcus. Like, everyone knows my stance on Nia Jax. Like, this isn't like a, a hidden mm-hmm. fact that I'm not a fan of Nia Jax. Mm-hmm. I've never been a fan of Nia Jax. Nor would I want her to win this match, even if I wanted her to win the match. I would not say she would win the match no matter if she has improved hasn't improved whatever i just feel as though she's over over pushed because of her bloodline and there's my segue so marcus 
with all that being said, let me tell you how confident I am that that shit ain't happening <laughs> at Elimination Chamber. They're not stepping on Rhea's moment. They are not doing that whatsoever. If that does happen and Charlotte shows her happy ass up, I'm buying you dinner that night. Play, play and simple. Whatever you want. I, door dash it right to you. Not because well, it's good. not happening, bro. You're saving that money because it's not happening. Marcus, it's, not, it's, not, it's, it's, it's not happening. It's not it's happening. It ends up a triple threat match. It's no. Happening. Stop it. Stop it. Nope. See? It will not happen. You see, say, you see how Jokes reacted? Because he knows that's the type of shit that will happen. At Elimination Chamber. You're trying to will it into existence, look, but it is not happening. No, it's too happen. soon. It's too you soon. See, it's not you want to see somebody throw a fit like a five-year-old? Yeah, that's not, we're, not, we're not doing that. That whole, whole person. <laughs> Every person in person is yeah. going to act like a you five-year-old. See, you, see, you see how you feel right now at this moment, Sam? It's not going to happen. Me talking? No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, You see how you feel? I want you to remember this moment in time. Oh, my God. And how you really? feel. This is etched it. How confident are you? This is how I felt. How, how confident Last are you year in your state? At WrestleMania. No, 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 wait. This is the same moment. Oh this God. is the same moment I felt at WrestleMania where Cody should have won the championship Marcus. and we could have had a better creative story Marcus, going. This forward. ain't WrestleMania. This is Elimination Chamber. Hey, listen. I'm just listen. letting you know. I'm, I have, I'm gonna have to clip this. All right, I put your money in your mouth. Hey, listen. Put your money in your mouth. Please. If I said I'm gonna buy you dinner if she shows up and tries to screw Rhea, vice versa. Bring it over here. If, if you are that sure, if you are that confident, I'm not saying it will ha- it will happen. I'm just letting you know that the possibility of just that all the way up happening. Yes. yes, the possibility exists, but the percentage is like what five percent out of a hundred. Like it's, but not- it's not zero. It's not it Fair enough. Right, you got listen, it. you got chopping this up, folks. I need y'all to tell this home, this dude, Marcus. Charlotte ain't showing up at the Elimination Chamber. It is too soon. I know. I know. I'm not saying she's not I'm showing up, she, but she's not I'm involved in this match. You know. all I, that's all I said. I was just letting you and the viewers know that there is a possibility that Charlotte will be there. Charlotte could make an appearance. She could She could be no. running to the story because she got that Ric Flair rub. Nope, not not this time. No, nope, no, nope, not happening. We're not doing this. We're not willing this into existence, bro. It is not happening. He's on the cover of 2K. They're not gonna do that to her dog in this moment. They're not doing Rhea, it. Ray is walking out as champion, and she will remain champion, and nobody's gonna take that away from her. The only person, the only person that would possibly come out and either attack her or do something is whoever wins the women's chamber, whether it's Becky Lynch, which it probably is going to be, not gonna be Becky, or whoever else, but. That would be the only person that would come down to that ring, stare her face to face, point to the WrestleMania side because the WrestleMania that, side no, no, see, should be there. That she will do. I see that, but not interfering in the match. She'll yeah. let them. Oh have no, a no, clean, she's not she'll interfering. Let a clean match, but if she want to come down and get no. the ring and get on her Becky shit, she absolutely would. It will happen. That will be the only thing that's going to happen. Yeah, Charlotte ain't going to be nowhere close to this with Temple Pole. She will be in the states. She is not going to be the Elimination Chamber. She's, she's going to be far <laughs> from that equation. She'll be in the stairs in the VIP session. That's the close that damn ring she's getting. That's what I'm saying. It ain't happening. It ain't happening in the chamber. Maybe we'll get the mania. It well, is not like, happening. Wait till it happens <laughs> so I can talk my trash. It ain't going to happen. Right, <coughs> I'll, I'll hey, buy look, you a drink. Hey, I don't know. Hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, look. To, to, hey. to all the viewers, to all the people watching that, that don't see this from Patreon or wherever, just know that controversy creates cash and that's that's what i'm here for i'm the <laughs> one that that brings in the controversy <laughs> to, Listen, to, to bring the, the organic reactions that's fine if you're okay, controversy, and I'll wait, 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 wait. i will admit that if it happens i will be the first one to say i've spoken into existence that's fine and then we're gonna come over there and we're gonna whoop your ass because it'll be all your fault but if by chance it does happen i will buy you uh, Stone Cold just hinted at a new uh, IP? version of his beer. I will get you a. I will get you a four pack or whatever that is. If that said happens, which I know it's not, so you ain't gonna. Get Hell yeah! It. But that has been our predictions for the Elimination Chamber. <laughs> um, yeah, we are all one hundred percent in agreement on the, on the same page. <laughs> this would have happened. 
I feel like right now with us right at the edge of WrestleMania, there's not too many things. Now, I, I like a swerve. Don't get me wrong. I like a swerve. So if they can make it work, wherever it may be at, I'm good with it. Like for me, like, yes, we're agreeing on everything. But like with the rematch, match, I'm most looking forward to how the match goes from a wrestling standpoint with Rhea actually facing somebody bigger than her for like really the first time. You know what I mean? Like that and just how she accepts the reception we know she's going to get. Like mm-hmm. and, she's going to she, cry. That's what I'm wondering. Is she going to break character and get emotional? No, she'll you know cry at, I mean? the, at the um, press conference. The John at the press conference. The she'll probably tear up during yes. the, the press conference. That's what. Oh, she'll come yes. out in full Rhea mode and she'll be fine. But then afterwards, that's where we'll see. Yeah, she'll probably, she'll probably look at. She'll probably come in, like do her do her in in ring entrance. Yeah, build her swag. Yeah. yeah, and then but as that's happening, like when she's in the ring, yeah, and start taking before away. before before the match starts, she's looking around. She do the look around at the oh, crowd. Mm-hmm. She'll Go probably smile. Like she'll, you'll probably see that that emotion on that face. No, like no matter what, it's like when Bianca first went to her WrestleMania. First, when you when, when was her versus Sasha the first women the black women to to main event and headline a WrestleMania. That mm-hmm. that emotional moment. No matter if you're a heel or you're a face, baby mm-hmm. face, that emotion that you feel do like being in that predicament, being in that situation. Like you can't, you can't always suppress it, and that's mm-hmm. when wrestling is at its peak. I'm just waiting to see what swerve. If when it goes swerve, beyond the story, hey, look, if we get a swerve, cool. But if we stick to the what the thing is right now, to just to build and just to get us to mania, mm-hmm. I'm okay with it. I'm I'm not real right heat. Now. This is what I say. The, the, this is my caveat, right? The real oh, heat boy. is if Ray is having her moment, or whatever. And then the rocks music hits. He comes down to the ring. He goes. He goes to you know, clap it up. Looks at Naya. Hey, bro. Actually, I didn't. I actually, I didn't even think. I didn't even think about that happening. All right, all right. What's the bloodline storyline type of shit? Would you? <laughs> hey, I, I, I didn't even <laughs> listen. At this point, at, at, WWE, <laughs> give me a job. Give me a job. Listen, give me a job. I, listen, I, wanted, a job. To, I wanted to be a woman in in Can the you bloodline. What I'm cooking? Yeah, they they, they, you... they need one. They need one for sure. We've been saying that for a minute. Though. Yeah. I'm I'm down with it. Cool. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap things up. Uh, these have been our predictions for the Elimination Chamber. As you guys clearly see, we're all on the same page of who we think is going to win. Let us know if you guys think any different than what we actually picked. And I need a why behind it. Because as of right now, all of our answers are the definitive answers. And there's no way that you can change my mind about it. But if you think that we're wrong on one of these go- on these match picks, let us know. Because we want to hear it out. And also, we're going to be the, the, the crazy people who are going to be up in the morning watching it oh, live. Uh, so if you want to join us in the Discord and watch it with us and react to it with us, feel free to join us in the Low Snack Discord. We probably will be delirious. It's, it's going to be a wonderful thing. I mean, I'm used to it. Me and Marcus are kind of used to it because we sit up for New Japan. So it's like the early, the early. That, like I've had a night job for like five. Marcus years. has had, oh yeah, Marcus has been working throughout the night. So. Hey, look, I get up at five a.m. every day for work. So like this is just an hour before that. Like Not I'll be bad. fine. Yeah, I'm good with it. But join us. Uh, we're we're planning to have a good time one way or the other. Uh, neighbors are probably going to hate me because when some. Crazy Make probably sure happens. Your pancakes, your hey, bacon, your eggs. Hey, your get bacon, your breakfast your, food. Your hash browns. You get all that stuff ready like two hours before. Put it in your uh, air fryer and want to just to stay Woo! warm and crispy. Talk about it. You'll be all right. Hey, but don't don't overdo don't it because you don't want to give yourself the itis while you're watching and then you accidentally fall asleep. So just be a little bit careful. Hey, a, little, a little bit careful. I'm a veteran. I'm good. <laughs> cool. I dig it. Well, until Saturday, uh, for the homie Sin, for the homie Marcus, it's jokes. This has been your predictions for the Elimination Chamber. Uh, we will catch you on the next episode of The Finisher. Stay tuned. But until then, we'll catch you later. Marcus, go ahead and say your thing. And remember, just because your back is against the ropes doesn't mean you can't move forward. With that, we're out. Loading snacks. Help, help.